Tobin here at MercedesMarket.com. I'm going off the res a little bit today in terms of Mercedes. I'm sitting on a BMW 840 and I'm wearing this super sweet style auto Porsche jacket from the 1980s. And here's why. I want to talk to you about the Radwood Car Show and why it matters. Radwood's a car show concept that started in, the, in Northern California last year. There have been a handful of Radwood events around the country, a few, several in California, one in Atlanta, and most recently in Philadelphia. I attended that show a few weeks ago. The name Radwood is sort of a play on Goodwood. Goodwood, the Festival of Speed, and the Goodwood Members Meeting in England, that's the car event where people dress up in 30s and 40s period clothing. Uh, they race cars, there's a car show, people get into the spirit of that time period. Radwood uses the name Rad, that, that word that we used to use back in the 80s, and Wood from Goodwood, Radwood, course, sort of a play on the Goodwood concept. But instead of celebrating the 30s and 40s, Radwood celebrates the 80s and 90s. So why does Radwood matter? I think Radwood matters, and I think it's making an impact on the enthusiast car community for a couple reasons. I'm not sure that it's the future of, of uh, car shows, but it's certainly part of the future. One, I think it really attracts a younger demographic who enjoys a casual, laid-back show. It was a young crowd. It might be the first car show I've ever been to where there might have been two or three people over 70 years old. And there weren't very many people even in their 50s or 60s. In my mid-40s, uh, I, I felt like I was on the higher end of the age scale at this show. I'm a child of the 80s, no doubt, uh, firmly fall into the Gen X category. But there were a lot of millennials there, a lot of people in their 20s and early 30s, uh, really with a good interest in cars of this period, of the 80s and 90s, as well as the music and the clothes. The cars that a lot of people brought, I would generally consider survivor type cars. Not necessarily collector cars, but a very nice example of a car from that period. There were, uh, there were a couple of uh, Chrysler K cars there, for example. Um, a Dodge Aries wagon. The nicest Honda, uh, it was probably a 1980 or 81 Accord hatchback that I've ever seen was there. Uh, a Saab convertible from the early 90s. These cars that aren't necessarily thought of as collectibles, but that somebody has, has found a, a place in their heart for and has elevated the model. Certainly there were some higher end cars there, for a Ferrari Testarossa 308. That was sort of at the higher end of, of the price scale. Some expensive air-cooled Porsches, certainly. But beyond that, you had a lot of just kind of survivor-type cars. Uh, Hondas, uh, Toyota Celicas, Volkswagen Golfs. There were a bunch of Mercedes, but there were no really expensive Mercedes. A handful of 126 coupes and sedans, some uh, 300 turbo diesels, uh, a few American cars, but not too many. Uh, but it was just a nice cross-section of survivor-type cars uh, and a basically a big street party with uh, people dressed in 80s and 90s clothing. It gives people an opportunity, even if they don't bring a car to the show, they can dress up, a girl can dress up in neon pink leg warmers and a, and a uh, you know, torn t-shirt, and she's got a place at that show. There were a lot of younger people there, and that was a, made a real impression on me.